born May 2, 2005. Emily Whitehead is the only child of Carrie and Thomas. Proud parents at the time, they did not know she would go on to help doctors find a new way to fight cancer. She had been perfectly healthy. It was just a few weeks after Emily's fifth birthday. We noticed that she had a lot of bruising on her body and her gums were bleeding and so we took her to the pediatrician and um, they did blood work and came back and said that she had leukemia. Emily, who is from Phillipsburg, about 25 miles east of State College, began traveling to Penn State Hershey Medical Center for chemotherapy treatment. She relapsed twice. So she just happened to be in that 10% that relapsed, that chemotherapy didn't work for. We finally, you know, had our doctor at Hershey come in one day and said, you know, we don't have any more weapons to fight Emily's cancer, and if you would like, we could set up hospice. Not ready to say goodbye, they transferred Emily's care to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, or CHOP. She would become the first child to participate in the T-cell-based clinical trial. T-cells are some type of PF white blood cells. We're basically genetically engineering those T-cells so that they can actually find and kill cancer cells in the patient's body. It's definitely, we see that in S6, there's no question about that. Dr. Stephen Grupp is a pediatric oncologist. He explains a patient's blood is filtered, giving doctors the cells they want. We end up with a bag of cells that we want. Uh, that goes to a lab, uh, that it actually does the genetic modification of the cells. We use a virus for that purpose. It's a crippled form of the HIV virus. It's not given to the patient and it can't cause disease, but it can make a change in the cells that we need. It's a complicated process. The B cells in your body are the carriers of illness, including cancer. The modified T cells using the HIV virus are trained to attack the cancerous B cells. So the way they explained it to Emily is that they were sending the cells to boot camp so they could learn how to recognize and fight cancer. The cells, now trained to fight cancer, are put back into the patient's body. Emily went through the transfer, but her body's reaction nearly killed her. What we've learned is that you put these cells in, they have to grow in the patient so they can attack all the leukemia. And what we've learned is that patients who have a lot of leukemia, which unfortunately Emily did, those cells really grow to a significant extent. And they kill all the leukemia, but in the process, the patient can get quite sick. Even with Emily so sick, the family says they held on to their faith. Sometimes we had to convince the doctors that she would still be there the next day. And I just feel like um, that was from so many people supporting us and praying for her. But we learned a way to treat this that no one had ever tried before. We tried it in Emily. It worked enormously well. And I would say, actually, her experience has saved lives all over the world. Having survived it all, Emily is now four and a half years cancer free and more than 100 kids have gone through the clinical trial treatment at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. 90% plus of the patients that we've treated, all with really bad leukemia, have gone into remission. Um, it's really cool because I can play with my friends. While we've treated a lot of kids here, we've also been involved in rolling this out safely to over 25 hospitals across the world. The procedure has also been successful in adults. Doctors are working to get it FDA approved. With the steps they are at in the process, they feel it will be approved within the next year. This is a, a life's dream to see the possibility that we can actually use the immune system to treat cancer and not just chemotherapy. And to, to meet up with parents now, they come up and, and say thanks to us and thanks to Emily for uh, surviving her, her fight. It's given their kids a chance to enter the trial and become pioneers as well. To raise funds so this research can continue and so that other families can receive this treatment, the Whiteheads have created the Emily Whitehead Foundation. Here at the Lawn Fire Company on November 5th will be a five-mile run. Part of the proceeds will go to the Emily Whitehead Foundation. The other half will go to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Central Pennsylvania. Our very own Mary Ellen Pan will be here at the race. In Lawn, Lebanon County, Leah Kirstein, Fox 43 News.